This is a video clip showing how the SCA JCL Plus Eclipse plugin works with the newer JES and JCL parameters from ZOS 2.2 and 2.3. What you're looking at in the first perspective here is a listing of PDS members from the mainframe. On the lower right-hand corner, in particular, is a detailed listing of each member. We're going to select the top member, and when we do, the member is retrieved from the mainframe and it's shown in the right upper window in an edit form and in the left upper window in a reporting form. I want to point out for you the newer JCL and JES statements at the very top of the uh, edit window on the right, you see the job group. And that job group is something new with the, uh, uh, the newer JES, uh, JCL statements for uh, ZOS 2.3. Uh, it's kind of like a mini scheduling system. In this particular job group, you see three jobs, J1, J2, and J3 defined. And the newer statements, the G job statement, uh, which identifies that each of the J1, J2, and J3 as being part of the job group. J2, in this case, is part of the job group and runs after J1 when a return code zero happens from J1. And J3 is part of the job group, runs after J1 also, but, but runs when there is a return code four from J1. I want to point out a couple of mistakes that are purposely inserted into this job group so we can show you how they're detected. Under the uh, uh, J2, you will see that the name parameter is actually misspelled uh, with an S on the end as names. And you'll also see for J3, the statement name is also has an S on the end. It should just be J, G job and it has an S incorrectly uh, on the end. So you see down below the job group is the actual JCL for each of those jobs referenced above. And this, as you see, is a little mini scheduling system. The, all the jobs are within this one member. Uh, job J1, uh, or excuse me, all of them have a, uh, a step BR14, as you see. But the first one, job J1, also includes as its first step an execute of a catalog procedure called PROC DEMO. So now we're going to actually run a JCL scan using the plugin. Go down and select, check JCL, submit it to the mainframe where the validation is performed, the runtime simulation. And when the results are returned, the results are returned to the reporting window on the upper left. And within that window, you see various messages produced and an indicator of return codes and um, what the particular issues are, the defects are, which each of the given statements. So you see the error messages that are produced. And the first one, as I mentioned earlier, uh, under the J2 G job statement is a incorrectly spelled name parameter. When you click on it in the report listing where the error message is, Notice that it takes you, it highlights that message or, or the, the statement in the right hand edit session, uh, allowing you to go over there and, and make the change. And then um, as you go through, um, you can go back over to the report screen. Uh, again, find any messages that are highlighted. And when you do, when you click on any of the our lines, it will take you back over, position you in the edit screen so that you can make the change and continue on with your research and updates to your, uh, till you have all the defects corrected. Additionally, with the, uh, besides the, 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 the validation that I just showed you for the job group, the JCL Plus uh, plugin has a, 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 a tremendous amount of capability. And in addition to those validations and, and detect uh, findings, it'll go through and scan all of those jobs in the member and identify any defects that occur. When it hits a PROC catalog procedure call out, 
as you see there in step one above, it also retrieves that proc and, and expands it and will, of course, validate the contents of that catalog procedure. When you click on a particular message within that, that's actually in the catalog procedure, notice on the right, JCL Plus opened a new tab, retrieved the PROC demo catalog procedure, and positioned you within that catalog procedure at the spot where the defect is highlighted. So you see also when you run the scan, in the bottom right hand screen, you have a summary of all the error messages that JCL Plus detected. And if you click on any one of those, it'll take you up in the upper left hand report to that spot. And also of course, position you in the edit session on the right in that spot as well, so that you can in that way, go through each of the error messages and make the changes that you need to, uh, research, or what have you, right? But as well, uh, in that summary, you'll notice that JCL Plus also prepared several other uh, summary items. Uh, one is, what we're looking at now, is it listed all of the programs that were found in the, in the scan. Um, and if you click on one of those, it'll take you to that particular spot uh, in the listing. Uh, anyone takes you to the, exactly where that program is referenced. Um, as well, if you're down to the uh, catalog procedures, of which there's only one in this scan proc demo, it positions you right at the execution of that uh, catalog procedure. And then we also have the, all the data sets that were encountered during the scan. If we click on one, uh, it'll take you there, but you'll notice one of them has a highlighted red indicator flag and that tells us that there was an error associated with that particular data set. We click on that and it positions us right to the data set uh, within the catalog procedure, as a matter of fact. When, because it's within the catalog procedure, JCL Plus opened up the catalog procedure, put in a new tab uh, on the upper right in edit mode. On the upper left in the report, it shows you where the uh, defect is and the defect message and allows you to make the adjustment that you need to to correct the problem. So we have a great tool for validating um, and, and making changes and finding the defects as quickly as you can from an Eclipse-based environment. But in addition, uh, just for ease of use and facility, the, um, you know, the plugin has many features and functions that make it um, a, a great productivity tool. Uh, one of which, as you see here, as, as the cursor moves over the tags that are uh, specified in the listing, it, 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 it shows you um, messages related to uh, that particular statement. If there was an error associated with it, uh, if there is a note associated with it, you can uh, easily see that by just flying over the particular tag with the cursor. Well, that concludes this video. And if you need more information, Please don't hesitate to contact SEA.